to this week's episode of the Dex, where we cover trivia and battle strategy for a damn Pokemon each week. I'm Rancher Alex. And I'm Poke Kells. Hey, why are you being a cowboy? What? Isn't it obvious? Bishop's a satyr, right? You know, a dude with horse or goat parts. Not to be confused with a centaur. What? You know, like a fawn. More like a pawn, nerd. What? It's his pre-evolution. Look, what? I don't know. Never mind. It's Bisharp! Giddy up! Pew pew! It's like working with a two-year-old. Look out, girls! It's an oncoming train! Ash! <laughs> Alright, so if Bisharp's not a horse man, then what is it? In Japanese, his name is Karikizan, which is a portmanteau of two words meaning mince and slay. Couldn't he just be a violent horse? No, man! In French, he's Scalpois, which means prey scalper. And in German, he's Centurio, which is a mix of the fearsome King Caesar and Centurio for Bishop's Roman Centurion helmet. Neat, right? Yeah! Hmm. So if I had to guess, he's some kind of clever hunter or soldier, right? He does kind of look like a general in all his publicity pics. That's one way of thinking about it. All his Pokedex entries mention Bisharp using teams of Ponyard, his pre-evolution, to weaken the prey before coming in to deal the final blow, the kill shot, the glory punch. Oh cool, that's just like lions! Usually they let the lionesses do all the hunting, but if it's a big game like elephant or giraffe, they'll come in and take it down with their extra girth at the end so the delicate lady hunters don't get hurt. Man, that's perfect! He's the perfect hunter slash generalissimo! Boy, yeah, we figured that out. Well, almost. Almost? Do I sense someone about to stick a metal knife into a high voltage socket chock full of culture? Ah, uh, what? Are we doing culture shock? Yeah. <gasps> but isn't Gaijin Goomba gonna be pissed? Uh, guys, Culture Shock isn't some original title either of us made up. It's a common use term that's been around longer than any of us. So seriously, no more anger or rivalry, okay? Anyone should be allowed to speak about culture in games. After all, culture belongs to the people of the world, not the individual. So why should the teaching of it be limited? So no more hate. Spread some understanding. And I'm out. <laughs> oh, culture. So, the one piece of the puzzle we're missing is pretty obvious, especially if you know your ancient strategic board games. That's right, I'm talking about chess. It's obvious that Ponyard and Bisharp are based off the Pawn and Bishop chess pieces, but the inspiration really shines when you consider that chess is meant to symbolize a battle between two armies. And the coolest part is that the recommended way to use them, verbatim from Wikipedia, is that the player in the middle game should generally place his pawns on the squares of the color that the bishop cannot move to. This allows the player to control squares of both colors, allows the bishop to move freely among the pawns, and helps fix enemy pawns on squares on which they can be attacked by the bishop. Isn't that so crazy? That's exactly what freaking Bisharp and pawn your do. Now that is some clever designing, y'all. The lions, the soldiers, the chess, it's all one thing. No wonder Pokemon take like six months to design. Plus, guess what happens when a pawn reaches the far end of the board? Most players promote it to a queen, but you could also make it a bishop. That's like real life evolution. That's neat. It's like too neat. Hashtag too neat. Dang, that was tight. T-I-T-E. Right? R-I-T-E, but now it's time to F-I-T-E with some awesome Gen 6 battle strategy. F-I-T-E? P-O-K-E-M. Bisharp's got massive attack and solid defense. Combo that with his typing and his ability defiant, and you've got yourself one seriously OU damage dealer. Grab an adamant one, and EV train it in attack and speed. The main stab moves on Bisharp are generally Gen 5 only knockoff for crippling targets heavily dependent on hold items, and Iron Head, which has good power and a chance to flinch. Pretty scary. People also sort of expect a Bisharp to be running Sucker Punch, which it gets as an egg move from the Spinda, Cacturn, and Toxicroak line. Do it! The threat of Sucker Punch not only makes your opponent second guess their attack, but it might give you a window to get a sword stance off. Smoke him if you got him. Top it all off with a Life Orb for a little more oomph, and Bisharp can be a seriously nasty surprise. Of course, that's not the only way to train a Bisharp, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. Another great dark type move for Bisharp is Pursuit, especially once you get a Swords Dance off. Keep it secret and you could get a KO just for being too threatening. Brick Break or Low Kick are also popular choices on Bisharp for more coverage, and which one you choose really just depends on who you think you're going to be up against. Screens or fatties, your choice. You can also try running Bisharp with a Lumberry, especially if you're already running Swords Dance. It'll help you turn the tables on a pesky status move user. And finally, Bishop has access to Thunder Wave. He's bulky enough to take one hit, and it might be just the thing you need to get into your opponent's head. Try it! And that's it, Bisharp, the chess piece, lion man, horse man. What did I just say? 
If you like what we're doing and you want to support us with a donation, head on over to patreon.com slash that one video gamer. Links in the description. It's a great way to give whatever you can, and there's all kinds of great rewards. Who knows, maybe you too could have your name scroll by during our end credits. Leave suggestions for next time down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Rancher Alex. And I'm Pokekels. Tune in next week for an even cuter and even littler episode of The, the Dex. Dex. No! It's like working with a two-year-old. Look out, Kels! It's an oncoming train! Clear it! Look out! Look out! In your stirrups! Nuggets! Get your nuggets! We gotta go! We gotta go play the honky-tonk! Stop! Cow Cowboys! <laughs>